Hello everybody, uh, Blank here, uh, I just bought some Dungeons and Dragons, the Dungeons and Dragons gift edition version of the Magic the Gathering cards. This isn't usually my forte, and I know this here is Yu-Gi-Oh, but we're gonna open on this because it's the best thing that I have right now. It's my only play mat right now. I plan to get, I do plan to get more, but let's get into this. I've already taken the wrapping off. And we're just going to jump right into it. So, ooh, that's a, that's a nice box. It's even got the little symbol there. And I believe, yeah, the little death symbol there. Now, for those of you that don't know, these come with these little boxes here. I don't exactly know what they're used for, but... A lot of people have told me that you can use these to store your cards. So, your extra cards. These are just little boxes that come in the bottom to make this thing as big as it is. Oh, and it looks like this is in here too. So, this is just a... I'm going to just... This is just a thing telling me to, hey, go check out the Dungeons & Dragons player manual. And it says to read the book first. And it's got this little... The cool little art design from the front of the box on it. All right, well, we're going to set these things aside for now. And then we are going to get into the big box. Uh, on the top here, it says Dungeons and Dragons Adventures of, in the Forgotten Realms. And let's just get into it. Oh, looks like there's some cards here. Now, these are big cards. I've looked a little bit into this. Uh, I know... Ooh, these are the dungeon cards. So, these are a new thing added with the new Dungeons & Dragons cards that have also been added. Uh, so, certain cards will say to venture into the dungeon, and you'll be able to choose one of many dungeons. There's only... These three come with the box. I'm sure you'll be able to find more later on. But each one does different things. So we'll, we'll look at those later. So, well, the first thing we're going to get into is the two, uh, the two unsealed packs where we know there's cards. Ooh, what is? What are these? Oh, this is this is these are cards telling you how to pretty much how to play the game and what the the normal methods for play are. And what the normal methods for play are. So. The first thing we're going to get into are the land cards here. And let's see what we got. So, just gonna throw that aside. A bunch of planes, your normal Magic the Gathering cards. And just your normal planes cards. Alright. Now, this gift edition, I think they're still selling. Uh, but if you want them, you gotta be quick. Because they are selling out pretty fast, from what I've heard. But uh, let's get into this pack, shall we? Now there are a set of guaranteed cards in here. Guaranteed good cards. These are all like foils. See, we got our treasure chest. Here, let me turn on the light for you. We got a treasure chest here. Then we got some foil planes cards, some islands cards, some mountains, and some forests. Those are some those are some really nice looking cards. I'm just gonna set those aside with the rest over here. Uh, in the box, there are usually one of these dice. Uh, let me go grab my other ones that I have from the other sets.
Now, when you open these boxes, you get some oversized dice. Usually, they're roll-down dice, like these ones are. See, this one's got the little symbol 19, 18, 16, 15, all the way around. And then down to 1. I'll show you this one real quick. This one is from the Core Magic Set 2021 that you could buy. And this one's from the 2020 Magic Set, I believe. Uh, but this one looks more like an actual D20, which is the dice you would roll in a standard game of Dungeons & Dragons. A little dragon emblem there for you. I believe these were this was sold because some of the cards that you can get actually have... Like, you can actually roll dice to get different abilities. So, we got these. We got that. Uh, but unlike Dungeons and Dragons, the, uh, the big dice got a bunch of packs. We're just gonna move this off to the side for right now. I'm gonna deal with the trash. Set these aside for now. This is the main one. These are the ones that you're gonna see. These are the booster packs. They're silver and they have the beholder on the front. Here, uh, let's open this up and see what we got inside. Now, I don't do I don't do the trick that everybody always does, where they shuffle a few cards to the back. I kind of just go through them. So we got ability, paladin shield, contact other plane, find the path. Ray of Enfeeblement, Iron Golem, a Forest, Hive of the Eye t of the Eye Tyrant. Ooh, Cthulhu's Will. Uh, Kaluthu's Will. That one looks really cool. Teleportation Circle. That one also looks really cool. Dingin the Wish Wind Seer. This is a a Dingin. Neverwinter Dryad. It's a Dryad. Ooh, Nadar self, the Selfless Paladin. This is a really good one. A White Dragon, the Black Staff of Waterdeep, and a Goblin Token. A 1-1 one, one Goblin Token. It's pretty good pulls. I'm really excited about the White Dragon because I actually have a white and black deck I can probably use this with. But, really cool. Well... We'll set the white dragon on top. Now for these ones. I believe these ones are the draft boosters. So it's just going to have a bunch of the Dungeons and Dragons cards in them. So. We got the Eyes of the Beholder, the Inspiring Bard, the Price of Loyalty, Metricans Polymorph, Priest of Ancient Lore, Thieves Tools, Kick in the Door, a Mimic, Clattering Skeletons, Dire Wolf Prowler, a uh, Hulking Bugbear, Reaper's Talisman, Cloyster. Cloister's Gargoyle, Dungeon Descent, a Forest card, and a Spider token creature. All nice cards. I, I'm i a big fan of D&D, so seeing some of these things that I've used as a DM, like Mimics and Thieves Tools, are just really cool to me. But uh, yeah, let's get into the next pack. another dungeon. That's really cool. Uh, 
So these are what the normal dungeons look like, and I'll get back out or the ones that came with this pack. These ones were really big. These ones are really small. And we have a duplicate, actually. We have the big version of this one. So, that's really cool. Let's, uh, let's put these back aside. Alright. We have Plummet. The Brazen Dwarf. Arcane Investigator. Mimis Containment. Minimus Containment. Perceptuous Drop. Find the Path. A vampire Spawn. That's a cool one. You see a Guard Approach. A Spare Dagger. Rim Shield Frost Giant. Ooh, our first class card. The class cards each have three levels, and you have to pay the amount to level them up. And it, they're really cool cards. We also have a red and green Tugger, Demon Fang Knoll, a Dungeon Crawler, Meteor Swarm. That's a really high spell, so I can <laughs> I can tell why it should cost three of the reds. And an island. So, we'll set that on top. Let's open up one of these. Ooh, we got another duplicate dungeon. The Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So, yes. Let's do it. Dragon's Fire. Bar the Gate. Paladin's Shield. Shambling Ghast. Hill Giant Head... Head of Gorg. Hoarding Ogre. Abreus Pegasus. You're ambushed on the road. A Knoll Hunter. Displacer Beast. These guys are really cool. Trickster Talisman. Ooh, a Black Dragon. This would go well with that White Dragon we pulled earlier. Ibn Death, the Draco Lich, a Foil Great Axe, and a Plains. So, the cards that I'm really looking for, I want all of the colored dragons. So, if we could get the rest of them out of the rest of these packs, that'd be really cool. Alright, let's get into the next one. Tomb of Annihilation. I don't think we have this one. Oh, yes, we do. We're getting a lot of the same dungeons. I'm pretty sure there's only, there might only be three, as far as I'm aware. But there might be more. I don't know. Let's get into it. A Valor Singer. Section Seacon of Stagaria. Potion of Healing. A Zombie Ogre, Plummet Again, Earth Call Elemental, Ranger's Hawk, A Manticore, Underdark Basilisk, Another Great Axe, A Blink Dog, Tiger Tribe Hunter, A Bag of Holding, A Forsworn Paladin, and A Mountain. Alright, there wasn't a lot of great cards in there. What I, I'm really hoping I can find another one of these colored dragons. Because they're they look really cool. Let's get into another one. Uh, we got a wolf token as our top deck create as our top deck item. Then we got shortcut seer, gloom stalker, grim bounty. A, a Sylvan Shepherd. Yeah, see, right here. Uh, you can, whenever it attacks, you can roll a d20 and you gain different things depending on how you roll. Uh, Boots of Speed. Contact Other Plane. That's another roll a d20. 
uh, kick in the door, a celestial unicorn. Celestial unicorn. A Dingen Moonseeker. Ooh. This is from a module, it looks like. Uh, Evolving Wilds. That's a cool one. That's cool. They advertise some of the modules that you can buy. Uh, 50 Feet of Rope. Ray of Enfeeblement. Eccentric Apprentice. A Mind Flayer. And a Planes card. That that module card looks really cool. And I feel like this would be useful just to use in a, in a standard game. Because sacrificing this and then putting a new land on the battlefield, you can essentially just grab a land out of your deck that you need to summon one of these guys. Like if you're only short by one, you could sacrifice this and summon one of these guys. Really cool. Really cool stuff. Really good draws so far, from what I can tell. Let's get into the next one. Alright. Another dungeon. Another Mad Mage dungeon. Might sell some of those. Alright. A plus two mace, a uh, spelter ghoul, a compelled duel. That's a spell. <laughs> that one's cool. Jaded cell sword, secret door, potion of another potion of healing. You hear something on watch. A leather armor, devour intellect. You come to a river, wandering trapador. Cesaro's death death whisper. That's a cool creature. A human elf warlock. So is it like a half elf? Ray of Frost. Orcus Prince of the Un of Undeath. And a forest card. It looks like we have four left and we need we have We have two oh That's a goblin and a dungeon. Nice. I didn't realize that. But there's a goblin on the back side of this dungeon card. We need three more of the colored dragons. And we have two of them. And we have four packs left. Ooh, that's a nice thing. Commander's Cube. Every format in between. Download for free. MTGO.com Alright. Let's go. Next pack. Woo! There's some. There's a good card. This is a token artifact. Uh, this is a treasure. Um, you can find stories and events here. So feel free to give it a shot. And we have thieves' tools, circle of the moon, druid, dragon's fire. Clever Conjurer, Dwarfhold Champion, Deadly Dispute, Hor another Hoarding Ogre, a Beulet, you find a Cursed Idol, a Pixie Guide, Divine Smite, the Warlock Class, Lonesome Troll, a Volvo Guide to Monsters, and a Swamp Card. I think the coolest thing out of this entire pack was the Warlock Class, because this is the one that it advertises on the website that I found all the rules for this for. Uh, and I took a look at it, and I thought it was really cool. But, I'm going to set these with all these other cards, and we'll open the next pack. So we have three packs left. The odds of us getting the rest of the dragons are very slim. But I really want all of them. So let's see what they have in store for us. I can see another repeat dungeon on the inside. The 
Lost Mine of Pavandalor, and a skeleton on the back. Let's get into it. Compelled Duel, Jaded Sellsword, a Shortcut Seeker, a Dawnbridge Cleric. I can see a foil card back there. Fate's Reveal, Reversal, a Sacred Herbalist, Scaled Herbalist, Ranger's Hawk, Rimshield Frost Giant, Devour Intellect, Burhan Battlehammer, Choose Your Weapon, Power Word Kill, which is a really cool card. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, a Chaos Channeler, and an Island. So I don't think we're going to get the rest of the dragons. We might get one more out of these last two packs, but we won't get all of them. That sucks. I really wanted the dragons. I might do another pack. I might just buy a bunch of these little 15 card booster packs and do another draw and see if we can get a another dragon. So we got a devil token creature. That's nice. Ooh. All right. Well, y'all can go take a look at that. Tell me if it's worth it to go to. But there's a devil. And let's go. A Valor Sting Singer. Clever Conjurer. Another plus two mace. Eyes of the Beholder. Spoils of the Hunt. A Brazen Dwarf. A Vampire Spawn. The actual Celestial Unicorn card. A Null Hunter. Spiked Pit Trap. A Drider. Guild Thief. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Fucking Tiamat. <laughs> In Plains. This. Oh my god. You need one of every mana. Uh, so let's take a closer look at this card, guys. So for Tiamat, you need one of every mana and two of any color, as shown up here. Uh, he's a legendary creature, which I'm pretty sure means you can only have one of them in your deck. Uh, and then you can... And then that's, that's a really cool ability. I didn't expect to get fucking Tiamat. Holy shit. That's dope. Alright, well, I'm happy now. I don't need... I'll be happy if I get the rest of the dragons as well. But, like, just having Tiamat just makes me happy. In fact, we'll put... We'll put him back there. For now. We'll put him back there for the rest. We'll... We'll put him back here for the last pack opening. Put these with the rest of the cards. Yeah, I know it's a bad idea to keep them all bunched up like this, but I don't have sleeves as of right now, so that's going to have to do. So let's get into our last pack. Please have another dragon. I would love another dragon. Ooh, I can't tell what this card is. I can't tell if this is just a... This is an ad for the MTG Arena game. Which you can download for free. And you can play the standard draft or sealed. And you play anyone, anywhere, anytime. What's on the back of this? Uh, the game doesn't stop here. Yeah, it's literally just an ad. For Magic the Gathering. On mobile and other devices. So yeah, go check it out that over there. Alright. Contact other plane. Delver's Torch. Perceptuous Drop. Bull Strength. Armory Veteran. Scoring of Stagia. You hear something on watch. An, uh, a scrolled Manticore card. Leather Armor. Goblin Javeliner. Critical Hit. Battlecry Goblin. Demogorgon's Clutches. A Long Rest. And a Swamp Card. Well, I don't know how well the pulls were, but I enjoyed this. It, it was fun to open some cards and show them to you guys. But uh, I think the best, my favorite cards were these three. We got a white dragon, we got Tiamat, and we got a black dragon. Put Tiamat in the center there. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this... 
If you guys enjoy this, hit that thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. Ooh, there's a glare on the white dragon over here. Move it to the side a little bit. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, hit consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And like the video. Uh, and if you want to see more of this, give me a like. Come check me out on Twitch. I stream from every now and then. Twitch.tv slash FCReaper1256. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.